Interesting facts about the ocean. Number 14. Smallest animal. The smallest animal that lives in the ocean is the San Francisco Bay Pygmy Seahorse, Hippocampus japapigu. This species of seahorse is less than 1 cm long and is found in the shallow waters of the northern Pacific Ocean. They live among the soft coral and seagrass beds near the coast of Japan, the Philippines, and Taiwan. These seahorses have a unique sail-like dorsal fin, allowing them to blend in with the surrounding grass. They feed on plankton, using their narrow snout to suck it up from the water column. Number 13. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch, also known as the Pacific Trash Vortex, is an area of the ocean located between Hawaii and California where large amounts of plastic and marine debris have accumulated. It is estimated that the Great Pacific Garbage Patch is twice the size of Texas and contains more than 1.8 trillion pieces of plastic. This oceanic trash is the result of decades of pollution from ships, fishing vessels, and land-based activities such as littering and improper waste disposal. The debris has been carried by ocean currents and winds to the trash vortex, where it accumulates and is then broken down into small pieces. In addition to plastic, the trash vortex also contains large amounts of toxic chemicals, such as DDT and PCBs, which can harm marine life, disrupt ecosystems, and even damage human health. Number 12. Carbon Dioxide Absorption. The ocean absorbs about one quarter of all the carbon dioxide that is released into the atmosphere. This helps to slow the rate of global warming as carbon dioxide is a major greenhouse gas. The ocean also helps to regulate the Earth's climate by storing heat and releasing it when needed. As the ocean absorbs more carbon dioxide, it becomes more acidic and this can have a major impact on ocean life, particularly coral reefs and shellfish. The increased acidity can cause shells to become brittle and dissolve, which disrupts entire food webs. Additionally, ocean warming can cause a decrease in oxygen levels, which can affect ocean circulation and lead to an increase in harmful algal blooms. Number 11. Climate Regulation. The ocean plays a vital role in regulating the global climate. It transports energy from the equator to the poles, which helps to moderate the global temperature. Water from the ocean evaporates and is released into the atmosphere, where it helps to form clouds that reflect incoming solar radiation and cool the planet. The ocean also absorbs and stores carbon dioxide, which can help to limit global warming. Additionally, when the ocean absorbs heat, it creates more evaporation, which leads to more precipitation and helps to maintain global water cycles. Number 10. Average Depth. The average depth of the ocean is about 12,100 feet or 3,688 meters. The deepest point in the ocean is the Mariana Trench located in the Pacific Ocean, which has a depth of almost 11,000 meters. This is the equivalent of about 36,200 feet. The deepest trench is at the bottom of the Challenger Deep, which is the deepest known point. The average ocean depth is increasing as the ocean floor spreads apart at mid-ocean ridges and new oceanic crust is formed. As oceanic crust is forced down into the mantle beneath the Earth's surface, the ocean floor gets deeper. Number 9. The Great Barrier Reef. The Great Barrier Reef is the world's largest coral reef system, located off the coast of Australia in the Coral Sea. It is composed of over 2,900 individual reefs and 900 islands stretching for over 2,300 kilometers 1, miles. It is so large that it can be seen from outer space and is the world's biggest single structure made by living organisms. The Great Barrier Reef is home to a wide variety of aquatic life and supports a unique array of marine species, including more than 1,500 species of fish, 350 species of coral, and 30 species of whales and dolphins. Its incredible diversity has earned it the title of one of the seven natural wonders of the world. Unfortunately, due to global warming and other human activities, the Great Barrier Reef is threatened by an increase in water temperature, an increase in ocean acidity, 
and destruction of its coral from pollution, illegal fishing, and tourism. Number 8. Half the oxygen we breathe. The ocean produces more than just half of the oxygen we breathe. It produces an estimated 70 to 80 percent of the oxygen in the atmosphere. This oxygen is produced by tiny ocean organisms, such as phytoplankton and algae, which use the sun's energy to convert carbon dioxide (CO2) into oxygen. It is estimated that around 85 percent of the primary productivity on Earth comes from these organisms. Aside from providing us with oxygen, the ocean also regulates the Earth's climate by absorbing carbon dioxide and heat from the atmosphere, which helps to reduce the effects of global warming. Additionally, the ocean helps to stabilize coastlines by absorbing wave energy and protecting us from storms and floods. Finally, the ocean provides a wealth of resources, from seafood to minerals, and has served as a source of inspiration and recreation for centuries. Number 7. Largest Animal. The largest animal in the ocean is the blue whale. Blue whales can grow up to 30 meters, 98 feet, long and weigh up to 173 tons, 156,000 kilograms. The largest blue whale ever recorded was a female in the southern hemisphere that measured 33.58 meters, 110 feet. Blue whales are found in all of the world's oceans and can dive down to depths of up to 500 meters, 1,640 feet. They feed on small organisms like krill and plankton, consuming up to 4 tons, 3,600 kilograms, of food per day. Blue whales can live up to 80 to 90 years, and they produce some of the lowest frequency sounds of any animal. They have special vents in their heads which help them make sounds that can travel over distances of up to 1,000 kilometers, 621 miles. Number 6. Estimated Undiscovered Species. The ocean is a vast and largely unexplored realm, containing a vast range of life. Scientists estimate that over 70% of the species living in the ocean have yet to be discovered. This means that the ocean is still largely unknown, and there is an incredible amount of biodiversity still waiting to be discovered. This is an exciting prospect, as discovering new species means unlocking new secrets and furthering our understanding of the world's oceans and the creatures that inhabit them. The potential of discovering undiscovered species and unlocking new secrets is an exciting prospect, and one that scientists and researchers are actively exploring. Number 5. Number of Known Species the number of known species in the ocean is estimated to be between 1 and 9 million species, but the exact number remains unknown. This means that we know the ocean is home to millions of diverse species, but there is still much to learn and discover. A majority of these species are microscopic and include bacteria, algae, and protozoa. Larger species include fish, mammals, reptiles, and invertebrates such as crustaceans, mollusks, and sponges. It is estimated that less than 10% of the ocean and its species have been studied and catalogued. Number 4. Mariana Trench. The Mariana Trench is located in the Western Pacific Ocean and is the deepest part of the world's oceans. It is estimated to have a maximum depth of 11,034 meters, 36,201 feet. It was discovered in 1875 by the British ship Challenger 2 and is named after the Mariana Islands which are near it. The trench is so deep that if Mount Everest, the tallest mountain on Earth, were placed at its bottom, its peak would still be 2.1 kilometers miles, underwater. The pressure at its bottom is 1,086 bars, which is equivalent to the pressure created by 1,000 elephants standing on its surface. It is home to some of the rarest and strangest creatures in the world, including the giant isopod, the Mariana snailfish, and the amphipod. Number 3. Millions of Islands. Millions of islands dot the oceans in every corner of the world. It is estimated that there are around 100,000 islands in the world, and many of them are uninhabited. Some of the largest and most famous islands are Japan, Australia, Madagascar, and Greenland. 
Islands can be formed by volcanic activity, tectonic plates, or coral reefs. They can also be created out of sandbars, atolls, and sea stacks. Islands can be home to unique and diverse ecosystems, as well as providing habitats for numerous species of plants and animals. Many islands are also home to bustling tourist destinations, offering visitors a chance to experience a wide variety of cultures, cuisines, and activities. Number 2. Coastline Extension Coastline extension is a phenomenon that can occur when the sea level rises. It is a process whereby the coastline of an area is naturally extended outward, resulting in a larger area of land exposed to the sea. This process can occur over time, due to gradual sea level increases, or it can occur more rapidly due to extreme weather events. This can have dramatic effects on the shape of a coastline, resulting in new shorelines and coastal areas. Coastline extension can also be caused by coastal erosion, where parts of the coastline are washed away due to wave action, currents, and other forces. Ultimately, coastline extension can lead to the formation of new land areas, such as islands. Number 1. Two-thirds of the Earth's surface. The ocean covers two-thirds of the Earth's surface, or about 70% of the planet, which makes it the largest single geographic feature on the planet. The ocean's surface area is about 362 million square miles, and it is an average depth of 12,200 feet. The deepest point of the ocean is the Mariana Trench, which is about 11 kilometers deep. Because of its immense size, only a fraction of the ocean has been explored by humans. In fact, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration estimates that only 5% of the ocean has been explored, leaving 95% of the ocean's depths unknown. The ocean is home to millions of species of plants and animals, many of which are still undiscovered. In addition, the ocean plays a major role in regulating the Earth's climate, absorbing more than 90% of the sun's energy and providing a significant source of oxygen. Hey there, thanks for watching this video about interesting facts about the ocean. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos about curiosities around the world. Until next time, stay curious.